Welcome to the Daily 304, your window into wonderful almost heaven, West Virginia. Today is Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. Today, happy anniversary. West Virginia global industry leader Constellium celebrates 10 years this month. The new Adventure On Freedom Fest combines hunting, fishing, and off-road racing. And recycling old electronics expands in the Charleston area on today's Daily 304. Number one from Constellium.com. Global industry leader Constellium celebrates its 10th anniversary this month. With more than 1,100 employees, Constellium's Ravenswood plant is one of the world's largest rolled products facilities, producing the most powerful plate stretchers in the world, as well as one of the largest cold rolling mills. In its first decade, Constellium has strengthened its position in the aerospace, automotive, and packaging sectors, entered new markets, expanded its footprint, and offered more innovative and responsible aluminum solutions. Check them out at Constellium.com. Number two from WVMetroNews.com. Governor Jim Justice has announced the debut of a world-class off-road racing event coming this year to the Summit Bechtel Reserve. Sponsored in part by the GNCC Racing and the West Virginia Division of Natural Resources, 2021 Adventure On Freedom Fest will be combined with the annual National Hunting and Fishing Day celebration most recently held at Stonewall Resort. The event will run from September 10th through the 12th and could draw around 20,000 people. It will feature ATV and motorcycle racing on the summit's nearly 70 miles of off-road ATV trails. Number three from eScrap News. Infinite Electronics Recycling is planning to open a new site in Charleston, West Virginia on June 1st. The 10,000 square foot Charleston location joins the company's primary 100,000 square foot processing facility in Wintersville, Ohio, which opened in early 2020. The new location will initially serve as a transfer center where electronic devices retired in the Charleston area will be redirected either directly to a downstream processor or up to IER's Ohio location. The two facilities are about 200 miles apart. The company works with a variety of customers, including large businesses, universities, hospitals, and government entities to recycle retired electronic equipment. Find these stories and more at wv.gov slash daily 304. Music by Zach Harold. The Daily 304 curated news and information is brought to you by the West Virginia Department of Commerce, sharing the wealth, beauty, and opportunity in West Virginia with the world. Follow the Daily 304 on Twitter and Instagram at Daily 304. You can also find us on LinkedIn and Facebook. And if that's not enough, subscribe to our daily newsletter. Go to wv.gov slash daily 304 and click the blue box that says subscribe to the daily 304 newsletter. That's all for now. Take care, be safe, get outside, and enjoy all the opportunity West Virginia has to offer.